Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 19 player review on my channel. So in today's video, guys, I'm going to be reviewing 83 rated in form Santi Cazorla. So if you do want to go and pick up this card and try him out for yourself, you will have to pay around anywhere between 15 and 20,000 coins. Now, now looking at the card, you know, the pay straight away, you're looking at it, it looks absolutely terrible. But he's got a few decent stats in the dribbling, shooting and passing category. His passing, let me just say this now, is absolutely unreal. You know, the 5-star skill moves, along with the 5-star weak foot and the absolutely insane passing. You know, this guy can do pings from, like, his own half all the way into the opponent's half um, very comfortably. On both feet as well because of that 5-star weak foot. He's got some nice shooting stats in the shot power and long shot category. Finishing is okay as well for a midfielder at 76. And then he's got really good balance, really good ball control and also really good curve. So guys, this has been the in-game stats. Now let's get into the highlights. So moving into the highlights for 83 rated in form of Santi Cazorla, the first pro I could find on this card was his passing. Now this is probably the biggest selling point of this card and is how good his passing is. You know, left foot, right foot, 20 yards, 50 yards, it doesn't make a difference. This guy's passing is absolutely unreal. He's just one of the best passers I've ever seen on any FIFA. Um, and it really does sort of, you know, represent how he is in real life. You know, he's very good at passing, especially at his prime days when he was playing for Arsenal. This guy's passing was absolutely unreal. And then the next pro after that, as I've already mentioned, is the five-star weak foot. Look at that pass there on his left foot. Just smashes it across the pitch perfectly to my player, I think it was Nani. Um, and then moving into the final pro, and that is this guy's ball control. Now, his agility sort of lets him down because it's only around 70, what isn't the best when it comes to scaling. But this guy's ball control makes up to it. He's just so hard to dispossess um, just by tackling him off the ball because he keeps it so, so close to his feet. And he's pretty slow, even though he has around 50 pace, he does feel a lot faster, sort of like around these sort of 70 sort of pace stat. Um, but yeah, he's pretty slow, but you know, just that ball control is just so hard to dispossess, and it looks so clean when scaling with the ball. And then the only two cons I could find with this card, the first one was the strength, as expected, he's like 5 foot 4, 5 foot 5. A very very small player so he's not going to be very strong at all and you know he gets pushed off the ball quite a lot what can be frustrating at times um, but apart from that you know this card is very good and then the only other con I could find with this card was his stamina now Santi Gazzola is getting towards sort of the um, end of his career now so he's sort of losing his stamina and I think he's only got around 50 stamina now I didn't really find it affected him too much because he's already a very slow player um, so even with the low stamina you know it doesn't really make him feel any slower or sluggish um, but yeah overall a pretty decent card a lot better than I was first expecting I didn't really have as many goals in this video though because it's a lot harder to scale with him uh, because he is a pretty slow player as you can see there we do go and get a double panel which is just absolutely crazy so anyway guys this has been the highlights now let's get to the overview So now moving into the overview for 83 rated in form of Santi Cazorla. On the enjoyment scale, I'm going to give him a 6.5 out of 10. Now, honestly, the funniest thing to do with this card was just pass the ball, just go for like outrageous passes, and 9 out of 10 times he would make them because this guy's passing is so, so good. For scaling, you're not really going to like this card too much because of the low agility. Competitiveness-wise, again, this card just isn't good. You know, not tall, not strong, bad stamina. Passing good, as I've already mentioned. Dribbling is good, and he has decent shooting. But apart from that... You're not really going to be seeing this card used a lot in foot champs, if at all. And then at scaling, I'm going to give him a 6.5 out of 10. As I've already mentioned, not the greatest agility, but good ball control. What sort of boosts that scaling rating up. And then I think a fair overall rating is a 6 out of 10. Now this card, I would say if you're just looking for a fun card to mess around with and you want to try and make some outrageous passes, then Santi Gazzola is the card. He also has a very good free kicks. Um, I was very close multiple times, you know, hitting the crossbar or a few feet wide of the post. But anyway, guys, this has been the player review. If you enjoyed it and want to see more FIFA 19 player reviews on my channel, leave a like on the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow. Thank you.